For decades, it's been the eight minute rule. Respond to a 911 call within eight minutes and save lives. But a new University of Calgary study suggests making that eight minute goal makes little difference whether a patient lives or dies. So in our study, what we, we, did, we failed to detect a difference between those that received a response time under 7 minutes and 59 seconds and those that received a response time over 8 minutes. Um, and so it was a very small difference in mortality between those two groups and it wasn't statistically significant. The study looked at 7,500 life-threatening emergency calls. EMS got to the patient's door within 8 minutes, 76% of the time. Of those patients, 6.4% died. Those where EMS arrived after eight minutes, 7.1% died. The study suggests there's little difference in mortality associated with the eight-minute response policy. Chip Doig is a full-time ICU doctor who also drove an ambulance early in his career. He says emergency response times are a very complex issue. So relying on work done 25 years ago to justify response times seemed perhaps stale dated if not completely out of date. Ian Blanchard says he's not suggesting that a quick response time is not important for some patients, but that more research is needed. What we need to do is more research on uh, who it will benefit from a rapid EMS response, whether we can identify those patients at the time of the 911 call, and then whether or not um, what that time should be. So should it be eight minutes, should it be six minutes, or should it be four minutes, or something along those lines. Blanchard calls it a balancing act, doing what is best for the patient while minimizing the risks to EMS crews rushing to that patient. Rick Donkers, CalgaryHerald.com.